How you doing, Pat here with Patch Rides. While I've got the tire off to get a new tire mounted, might as well do the final drive maintenance on it while I'm here. So stick around, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see how easy or hard I can make this look. Okay, welcome back. First thing I'm going to do is I need to remove the speed sensor because I'm going to drop all this and lube the spline also. And based on the research I've done with other people's videos, this will leave the uh, a hole to the final drive oil and you will lose some when this comes down. So based on mileage, it's not due yet, but based on time, it is. So the bike, according to the computer, was made in January of 2019. It is now May of 2020. I only have 6,969 miles on it. Yes, that's actually true. I know my 12-year-old brain loves that. But anyway, I figure while I'm here, why not? Because I'm going to be riding out all over the country and hopefully in Canada this year. So we shall see if uh, this COVID crap will ever uh, allow us to travel properly again. So I'm going to go ahead and get this removed. And I'll be back in just a second. All right, looks like a T30. And once I get this removed, I'm going to put the bolt right back in the hole so I don't lose it. Don't forget where it goes because it's going to be a couple days before all this is reassembled. And I will definitely clean all that up before I reassemble it. All right. Let's go to the other side real quick. We'll need to get this back out of the way. And these are the bolts that hold the caliper on. So I can just lay this up here for now. Put these bolts back in so I don't lose them. So before you ever drain any kind of oil, two things you really should do, which I haven't done yet, is clean up the fill port, especially not as critical, but clean up the drain port. But what is super critical, make sure the fill port can be opened before you drain the oil. There's two reasons for that. One, you don't want to drain oil and not be able to refill it. Two, it allows air into the system and lets it drain better. So I'll come back after I get this cleaned up a little bit. All right, we've got us a T40. Holy moly, that was tight. Wow. Okay, again, another kudos to BMW. They made this idiot proof. The drain plug is a T45. I guess this way you can't confuse the fill plug and the drain plug. Wow, again, stupid tight. But I guess you don't want water and stuff getting up in here. And you do have crush gaskets on here that should be replaced. Oh, that looks kind of green. I hate the smell of gear oil, but I'm going to let this drain for a few hours and I'll be back. Yeah, it looks like just shy of 200 milliliters. Uh, not sure how much it's supposed to be. I think I read 185, but don't quote me on that. You really should replace this O-ring also. And no, I don't know off the top of my head what size it is right now either. I'm just snugging all this stuff up for now. I'll come back and torque it down later before I start putting everything back together. I don't think you really need to see that because I won't talk about torque specs anyway, just in case I ever make a mistake about what a torque spec is. I don't want to mislead anyone. Tight enough for now. And I'm just going to throw this back in to, just to help keep dirt out. 
All right, it's my understanding you've just got some clips on the boot here, and then take that bolt out. This whole final drive should drop. I've got this foam board here for two reasons. One, to protect my brake drum in case I drop it, and two, for my knees, because this kind of hurts working on my knees like this. This is a T50, so let me go grab a wrench and I'll get that broke loose. Maybe. Let me just say, this is tight. Holy moly. It's moved a little. Based on the way this feels, I believe it's got thread locker on it too. But slow and steady. Get in a rush doing this kind of work is how you screw everything up. Right, she's moving. You don't want to use anything sharp on this because you don't want to take a chance of putting a hole in it. There she goes. You can kind of see the tab right here. Trying to be gentle. Time for a knee break, they hurt. There, she finally came apart. And there, the spline came apart. Well, I'll be darned. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on camera right, but it looks like somebody has greased this already. I know my angles are all funky holding the camera here. So, kudos to the dealership if they did this at the uh, 600 mile service. Awesome. No matter what, I'm gonna re-grease it and I hear the hard part's putting all this back together because if you get out, if you get these splines out of order, it's hard to do that. And I think it's easier. I've been, I've read if you can grab that with some kind of rope or something. 
So I'm gonna clean all this up first and then I'll be back. What I'm doing is I'm just coating the beginning of the, of the spline really, really good. And as the splines go together, it will help lubricate itself. I will put a little down there also once I get that to that point. All right, I got some grease in there now. And now the fun part, from what I understand from the research I've done, is getting this all go, to go back together. Oh yeah, I can see where this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I can see where the videos I've watched on this, the people get very frustrated. Yeah. I don't know if I can hold that out of the way, maybe. Hmm. Yes, this is a nightmare. Yeah, the worst part is I bet the factory's got a cool little jig to do this with. I just threw the bike in neutral. Try to change angle to this a little bit. Okay, there it's starting to engage a little. And now I'm starting to miss again. Well, it acts like it wants to go. I mean, if I turn the brake rotor, I see the drive shaft move. I know some guys have said it needs a little persuasion. <sighs> hmm. Break time.
Well, did you see that? She went right in. Now I'll try to get these locks back in place. That's where a little piece of wood might come in handy. Just so I can take a break, I'm going to use some primer. I don't know if you can see this and some blue Loctite, but right now, kind of glad it's back in there. I'm going to do that so I can take a break for a couple minutes. Woo! No persuasion necessary. So if you're beating on it, you're taking a chance and you're not lined up right. Once I got the magic alignment, that went in crazy easy. <sighs> yes, I will come back and put a torque wrench on this. I'm not gonna video that though. Like I said, the last thing I ever want to do is screw up a torque value and screw somebody else up. So I'm never going to do that in one of my maintenance videos. All right, that's snugged up enough till I can put a torque wrench on it here in just a few minutes. All right, it's the next day now. As you can see, I've got the tire tire on there but it's just finger tight for right now same with the brake caliper nothing's tight i got to put all that back on but we're going to refill the final drive oil and what i've done to hopefully make my life easy is i went to my local tractor supply place bought a syringe here it's 60 milliliters or 60 cc's which it's the same thing in case you don't know that i had to look up the uh conversion factor and found out 60 cc's and 60 milliliters is the same thing so depending on how much oil your final drive takes, you just fill it up to 60 and do that however many times you need to, do the math and you can fill it up real easy. If you took it off like I did because I have a new washer, remember to put that crush washer back on. But the cool thing about this is, is once I fill it with oil, I can just, and it should be no mess. I think what I might do for the next time is put a hose on the end of that. All right, let's see how well this works. All right, so a bit more than 60. All right, that's right at the 60 mark. And I've had this bottle of oil on top of the heat vent since yesterday. Since it is cold enough, I still need to run a furnace. It makes it really easy to do this. All right, that's all there is to it. Just do that however many times you need to and uh, you're good to go. Hope you got something out of this final drive maintenance video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, I'm gonna finish this up and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.